Welcome back for another week of Hawaii Observations. Last week we talked about observing the effects of curve while looking forward. This week we'll be talking about this panorama and see curve in a more orthogonal fashion. So stick around and see if you can tell what is odd about this image. Most of you will have seen images such as this, with bridges and power lines going over the curve of Lake Pontchartrain. Flat earthers will say that this is due to numerous excuses such as refraction, dense air, flirspective, or your personal atmospheric dome. They will push back and say that if this observation was truly curved, then why can't you observe this curve while looking at it from the side, from the side of the bridge and be able to see the bulge in the middle? Well, I think I've found what they're looking for. During my trip to Hawaii a few months ago, we made multiple trips up to the North Shore. While up there, we watched several beautiful sunsets, enjoyed some awesome snorkeling, saw some turtles on the beach, and this amazing scene. Now, this panorama is not a single shot. It is a composite of over a dozen different individual images, similar to how satellite photos of the Earth are used to create a single image of the planet. Flat Earthers claim that an image of the Earth is fake because it's a composite. So according to their beliefs, with this picture, Hawaii also doesn't exist. While at the beach, I took several series of images across this shore at various levels of zoom and exposure, just so that they could later be combined into this beautiful panorama. At this point, I must give all credit for this composite to Alan Evans, an amazing photographer and Photoshop guru. Look below for a full description of exactly how Alan did this Photoshopping, as well as a link to his Discord server. He was able to stitch these photos together seamlessly for one accurate representation of what I was able to see that day. I need to thank Alan for all the help he gave and this final amazing project. Now back to the image. I want you to pay close attention to what is visible as we pan back and forth. Pay very close attention to the buildings, the trees, and the beaches and what is not visible. The width of this beach is about 8 miles in length from left to right. Now what you may not realize in this 2D representation is that the left side of this panorama is 5.38 miles away and the right side is 12.4 miles away. And in this image, you can see the curve from side to side. Looking at this shot of Google Earth from above, you can see what I was actually looking at. But it's a trick to the eye. You can't tell with the bare naked eye or even with the camera that the beach is getting that much farther away that fast. So let's take a closer look. I've personally driven down the road that mirrors this beach probably hundreds of times in the five years I lived on Oahu. This area of homes and foliage is right up against the beach. No, I don't need your okay. help. I found this on the web for this area of homes and foliage is right up against the beach. Check it out. I don't need your help, Siri. Thank you. Sorry, back to what I was saying. But these homes are no more than 10 feet above the waterline. The houses are butted right up against this beach. Some are even much lower and closer to the waterline. That's why many of the homes along this shore have a drive-in garage underneath the home on stilts. So as we start on the right side of the image, you can clearly see the houses are above the beach line. 
You can even see some of the retaining wall at the top of the beach. At the far left edge, we're able to see homes butted right up against the beach. And at 5.38 miles away, according to the curve calculator, only 4.65 feet are hidden. Now as we pan down the beach to the right, remember, we're seeing this beach as it stretches farther and farther away. This cluster of homes is 6.75 miles away, with almost 11 feet hidden. This house is seven and a half miles away, and you can clearly see the line of trees in front of the second floor of the building. According to the curve calculator, a little over 14 feet is hidden. This cluster of houses is 9.28 miles away. At that distance, the image is getting less clear, but you can still make out the shape of these houses. These are the last buildings along this panorama, and you can see from this aerial photo how much of the beach should be visible. Yet, in my image, there's none. However, according to the curve calculator, over 28 feet of landmass is hidden. And if you go all the way to the far right side, it is 12.4 miles away. This entire stretch is nothing but lava rock, sand, dirt, and roads. And again, none of this is visible in my image. According to the curve calculator, 62 feet of land should be hidden. And you can clearly see all of the roads, rocks, and beach that is generally constantly covered with hikers, bikers, and motorists, but none of it's in my image. Viewing this image from left to right, you can clearly see the effects of curve. No special tricks of camera were done. My angle of attack didn't change at all because I didn't move as I took these images. I simply panned my P1000 back and forth. With all that said, I have one question for the Flat Earth community. Why can I see this beach, but not this one? I anxiously await your answers. Again, I need to thank Alan Evans for the amazing work he did on compiling this panorama. I also need to give thanks to Sly Sparkane who helped identify the buildings on Google Earth and in this image to verify that I was looking at the right place for these distance measurements. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And share the video with all of your Flat Earth friends, because this is the evidence they've been looking for. Curve from left to right. And one last time, with nothing but the soothing sound of waves, let's watch this panorama and witness the curve.